Hi friends, I am so happy to say welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if it's your first time here, welcome. You have come at the most opportune time because your girl is back. Yes, <laughs> I have so much explaining to do. And, um, you know, I'm hoping to give you some tips if fellow YouTubers out there that are watching this, I'm hoping to give you some tips on how not to get hacked, have your channel hacked and how to get through it. Okay. So stay tuned and I will give you the entire lowdown. Okay. So let's go back in time a little bit to just a few days ago, actually. Thursday, January the 19th, woke up like any other day. I was um, going to get online and uh, check my emails and everything. And I got into my email that I normally receive sponsorships and all that stuff, my business email, basically. And in there, I found an email from a music licensing company, supposedly, that said that I had a copyright issue with one of my videos, one of their licensed songs. And I didn't really think about it at the time, but I thought, okay, that's kind of unusual. Um, you know, because I'm really careful about that, unless there was a song playing in the background or something like that. That's what I thought it was. And they said that they had a document attached that would explain the whole, the song and the procedure that we needed to go through and all of that stuff. So um, I didn't think of it at the time, but it was in a zipped file. And I thought, okay, it's one document, it's in a zip file, hmm, okay. And when I tried to open it, it wouldn't open. And I tried again and it wouldn't open, hmm, okay. And then I thought to myself, you know, normally my copyright issues come directly from YouTube, not from a third party. So then I started to think, hmm, this doesn't look good, Carmen, what have you done? And I went over to my um, YouTube channel and uh, tried to get in, and I couldn't get in. And it would, kept asking me to log in. My password wouldn't work. My password wouldn't work. And then when I tried to recover it, um, you know, the email address that it was attached to that channel, my Google account was down. This is just within seconds, if minutes maybe, from the time that I opened that email. And it wouldn't work. Everything had been changed. My Google account uh, for that channel had been, the password had been changed, and it had been put into these different steps that I could not get through. And then when I looked at the channel itself, it wasn't my name anymore. It wasn't my profile picture anymore. It had a live stream of Elon Musk, of all people. What is this? And I thought, oh my goodness. At, right at that point, I just like thought to myself that, that this is it. I have been hacked all these years of avoiding this in one simple little email. I've been hacked. So that is your first lesson, friends. Don't open, look at emails really well. Don't open emails that you even have the slightest suspicion about. And particularly for, I know other um, individuals that have been hacked that have gotten um, emails from potential sponsors offering a good deal of money. But mine came in the form of a copyright, music copyright notice. And remember that those always come from YouTube, not from a third party. That was my first mistake. I should have realized that before I even opened that email and just, um, you know, deleted it. It didn't go to my spam folder either. So that, that may have been one of the reasons that I thought it was actually legit. 
But, um, you know, that was my first mistake. And so quickly things had changed on my channel, you know, and I'm seeing this happening. I'm starting to get notices through my Instagram DMs. Hey, your channel, what's going on? You know, emails on my other uh, email accounts. You're, what's going on with your channel? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what's going on with my channel. Um, you know, I started to like, my heart was beating fast and immediately I just stopped, take a deep breath, Carmen, <clears throat> you know, and I just started to pray. Lord, help me through this. Jesus, take the wheel. Because I had no idea what I was going to do at that point. I started looking on the YouTube help to see what do I do, how do I get help from uh, YouTube to get my channel back, to get my email back, and, you know, stop any damage that this may cause me, because I was really on a roll, you know, I have such big plans for this year. And I had a difficult time finding on the YouTube help guides and such. Finally made it onto a forum where other YouTubers were um, putting things about hacked uh, accounts and such. And they put on there, somebody put on there, your best bet is to go to Twitter. Twitter? Go to Twitter and, um, you know, contact Team YouTube and tweet them a message that you have been hacked, that you need help. And that is your best bet. Of getting help. Sure enough, I did that. I went on Twitter, which I don't use hardly at, at all, and uh, I tweeted them, letting them know I took a screenshot of the um, individual's handle and name and profile picture and everything. I said, This is the culprit, help me. And um, so within about an hour, I got a message back saying, Okay, you know. Um, give us some more information of what is your handle and such. So I sent them back the information. This was um, by Thursday afternoon. And I didn't hear from, I didn't hear from, I didn't hear from anybody till Friday. And at this point, I'm really starting to get desperate. Friday, I see that the channel is gone completely, that it is when I tried to go into that channel URL, it was uh, said this channel has been terminated for um, community guidelines uh, violations. At first, that scared me, but I realized that that is that is YouTube protecting my channel. They took it down before the hackers could do any more damage to it, um, because I I felt like I would probably lose subscribers in this whole process, people thinking that I had completely changed my niche and, and the type of uh, account that I had and everything. So I thought, okay, this is a good thing. The channel is not out there um, where, you know, people can uh, unsubscribe from it or um, anything else bad can happen to it. So nothing happened on Friday. And uh, I figured, oh my goodness, we're going into the weekend, but YouTube can't just take the weekends off. I mean, they're an international corporation, you know? Um, so I went back on Twitter and, and sent more DMs. Hey, let me know, let me know. And finally, somebody got back to me. So that's my second point, um, friends, my second suggestion. If you do get hacked like this, go to Twitter on Team YouTube. And that is your best bet of getting a response from someone quickly to help you deal with this ordeal. Um, and they, at that point, sent me a link to a form that I needed to fill out. I linked to it. I had a little bit of issues at first um, getting it to come up. Um, but they helped me through that. Finally, I got on it and filled out as much as I could. Some of the information, like, what is my channel URL? I don't know. It's like a 15-digit uh, alpha and numerical code. I have no idea. All I know is my handle, you know, at Carmen Whitehead. But uh, they helped me through that. And I told them also that I was concerned about my um, 
money, the Google account for where my AdSense account, basically, where YouTubers, um, their money is basically recorded and, and you get to see how much you're making and all that. Um, because I didn't want that going to the hackers either. But finally I submitted it and they said, we're going to get these to the, the uh, team specialists and get them working on it right away. 12 o'clock midnight. Um, at like almost midnight Sunday night, I got a message um, from an email at the, this recovery email that I was using from Team YouTube uh, giving me some instructions on what to, to, what to do to regain my first my Google account, my Gmail account. And I did that. That worked. So that was a really good sign. And then, um, you know, I emailed them back and I told them, okay, this is what happened. They asked me some more questions. I gave them that information and I figured, okay, I'm not going to hear anything else. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I got to get some sleep. So I went to bed the next morning, um, you know, still nothing, still nothing. And then Throughout the day, I was I was still filming. I was still editing videos because, you know, I figured when I come back, I am going to come back like mama bear. <laughs> you know, you moms out there know I am going to come back like mama bear and really hit this hard because, you know, I've lost at this point, you know, four or five days. And um, so by Monday night, Again, late at night, I figured, you know what? I was on my phone and I'm like, let me just try one more time and see if I can get in. And all of a sudden, I can get in to my YouTube account. And it was, um, you know, asking me to verify and stuff. By that point, I had set up a two-step verification for that email in for that channel. That's my third suggestion. Set up a two-step verification, meaning that you not only put your password in, but that you have them send you a code that you would put in, a six-digit code to your phone. I use my phone or another email. Um, that way, you know, you have less chance of being hacked. Okay. So I did that process and I was able to get in. I could not believe it. I was so happy. I was so happy. I was thanking God, you know, because I had been praying and praying through what, this whole thing and I knew it was in his hands. I knew he would not you know, abandon me. I knew he would be faithful. And I was able to get in there and immediately, even though it was like one o'clock in the morning at this point, I start changing things back as quickly as I could because I wanted to get back to work. Um, you know, and I started deleting the videos that they had uploaded. Thank goodness they had not deleted my videos. They had put all of my videos in. Rosie, please, honey. What's the matter, Rosie? Is it the Russians? Are the Russians out there? Mm -hmm. Thank goodness they had not put my videos on, uh, deleted them, just put them on private. So I started putting them back public and adjusting things on there. Put my profile picture back, put my handle back. The only thing, friends, and you can probably tell by the name down there, I was not able to change the name of the channel. It's still, I don't even want to say it. It's still what it says down there. Um, and it said in, in the, um, the reason it gave me was that you can't change your channel name more than two times in a 14 day period. Well, the hackers had changed it two times, which I think they did on purpose for that very reason. And so it said, you got to wait 10 more days. To change it back. Really? Okay. So I sent an email back to the team I had been working with and asked them, please, can't you make an exception to this? You know, I had been hacked 
let me change it back. Can't you guys go in there and change it for me or something like that? Haven't heard back from them yet. Don't know if they're going to do it. But in the meantime, I am putting this out there to let you guys know that I'm back, that I'm going to be putting videos up. Um, you know, I've got them lined up and basically I'm going to be going probably three times a week. Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, I'm going to be putting videos up. And, um, you know, I'm coming back roaring like a lion because I was so, so angry that somebody had the audacity to do this to my channel after I have worked so hard on it and such. So and I did lose about 130. I think that could have been worse, actually, if YouTube had not... Um, you know, taking the channel offline when they did because it was only up for one day with the hacker on it. So I think that could have actually been worse. But, um, you know, it is what it is, friends. And I hope that these tips help you in um, avoiding this. And if it does unfortunately happen to you, what you can do to get back online. It's not the quickest process, I will tell you that. For me, it took five days. I've heard longer for others, okay? Um, but it, um, you know, it can be done. Now, on one last note, while I was waiting for the channel to come back, I figured, you know, I can't be the only one that this has happened to. So I went on YouTube under another email account that I have, and I looked up, you know, hacked YouTube accounts, Elon Musk. And apparently this scam of hacking YouTubers and putting live feeds of Elon Musk has been going on for like a year. And, you know, I'm not quite sure why. And the whole purpose behind this and the people behind this, apparently, friends, are individuals out of Russia. <laughs> yes, this is not a conspiracy theory, okay? But it's the Russians. And it is part of a cryptocurrency scam, but it's basically links that to get people to uh, go to their website or whatever to buy cryptocurrency. That is the whole scheme, is cryptocurrency by the Russians. Yeah, Russians did it, yeah. So I could not believe it. You know, when I told friends of mine, you know, they couldn't believe it either, and my kids and stuff. It, it's just really incredible. I never thought that I would be a part of a Russian scam really. So <laughs> there you go. Things to put in my memoirs. So friends, that is the whole scenario of what happened to me, what you can do about if you are caught in the same situation as me. Okay. Now, if you're seeing this video and you hadn't subscribed before, I hope that you will consider coming back because I really have some wonderful videos planned for you guys. And, um, you know, it's going to be a fantastic year. And I would love for you to come along with me on this journey. Okay. So stay with me, friends. Okay. Thanks so much, friends. I appreciate your watching this video. I appreciate all of you that reached out to me and warned me that something had happened to my channel and all of you that had been praying for me and, um, you know, just asking God to restore my channel for me. Okay. I will see you in the next video and it will be me. <laughs> okay. Be patient with the name change. It will come. And have a blessed day, friends. Okay? Bye-bye now. <laughs>